even deeper right here. No, it's going to bend. This ain't good. We're going to be short right here. You know what? Whatever the slack cut off, we could just use some of that tape. Oh, what I like to call it, duct tape from hell. Well, no, we're just going to knead it up a little bit on the border. Look, look. This has got to go deeper, and it ain't going to do it. Yeah. Uh, wait a Hold minute. That up. Wait a minute. Bring this up higher. That's what I'm trying to say. We get a bunch of slack. Bring it up higher. Yeah, it's really okay, then fold this over and then pull it in. There we go, that's what we got to do. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. That's all. Put up more. Yeah. More. You guys are getting right car right hey, in that rose bush. There's going to be a lot right. of slack, so this doesn't have to be perfectly square. We need to pull it in a little over so that it can go deeper on one end or whatever. We can do that. It's not a big deal. Yeah, we've got to bring some more of this up in here. Yeah. Matthew, look at how much you have over on that end. Look at how much is over here. All right. We're fine now, I think. Yeah, we just have to pull it on an angle. All right, we're fine then. All right, what's really going to help is if we can start filling it with water, and the water pushes it down, we'll guide it. Am I going to be in the way? No, stay right there. It's fine. Ooh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> As the water goes into the pan. Water in. Let's see how much slack we have on that angle over there. Yeah. Hey. The main pull is going to be diagonal. We got more slack on that angle than we do on this angle. So anything to make up on this side or for any depth, you got to pull it diagonally and use the slack that's over there. Oh, we'll be fine. Yeah. Got to keep that up. That's all. Yeah, because if the water goes in, it's going to pull it. I don't think we're going to have enough here. When this pushes down, it's going to short us here. It's going to short us here, Dave. It's a lot deeper than this. Maybe only a little bit up at the top, but that's okay. We're going to have more than enough slack. We'll just get that duct tape from hell. That's what it's for. Taking small pieces of this tarp. Anything, well, it's not literal duct tape. It's just not I didn't thing. want to tape anything. I didn't want any seams. We still might need not need to work. No work. It's too short over there. I can see it already. We might need to use some tape and cut off some of the slack. It's not but a big deal. The other way. You're going to have to get inside, walk through it, and push it in, and push out the shape. All right. That's the only way that's going to work. And put the pump in drain the water. i got to hook something up to the pump. The hoses are over there. What do you want, the white one? No. What white what? That you hooked to the hose before? No, the black. Up. Yeah, the white one. Yeah. yeah. So you're using before? Yeah. Well, despite my father's default pessimism, me being the yin to his yang, um, I am of course more of an optimist. As far as the duct tape from hell reference, um, immediately after we found out that we had not enough as far as the 20 by 20, obviously the side, the part that is further in front of me here, um, that is a lot of slack area. So, after talking to our contacts at Ben Tarp and Liner, we decided to go with what I refer to as the duct tape from hell. But what it is, is the two inch double sided tape and the four inch single sided tape. What happens is, is the slack that was cut, you take one piece, two inches, the other piece, the double sided tape goes between those. You press it like that, and you take the single sided tape and put it over the seam. Then you take just your regular hair dryer 
and go over it and it melts the glue a bit and you just make sure you have your room for the slack because the water pressure is going to push everything in and you need enough slack so that the water pressure does not push and pull and rip the tape. That's the only way that leaks could possibly be caused. So we just put in an order for the double sided and uh, the single sided tape, 20 feet of each. And um, on pondscape.us, uh, we're also going to be putting that up there as far as uh, you know being a retail distributor for that. And um, the single sided tape, which is, um, both tapes are sold by linear foot. So the, uh, the single sided tape, which is four inches wide, is one dollar per linear foot. And the double sided tape, which is about two inches wide, uh, is also sold by linear foot and that is a dollar twenty-five per linear foot. And we've already cut the piece off and noticed that it will attach to the end perfectly. So we have absolutely no problem and the hissy fit my dad had that was not recorded was all in vain. As always. Now just for the sake of getting some halfway decent shots, hopefully it's light enough here. As you can see a lot more work to this thing has been done. At this point right here this is its deepest point. Right there. That's damn near close to five feet. <clears throat> the tarp which we have here, both pieces of it. You see the one cut piece kind of over that. We're just waiting for the tape to arrive. As you can see, going to zoom in on this. This is some pretty tough industrial strength stuff. This is fabricated tarp. This isn't the plastic crap that you can buy in your, your home outlet center. If uh, we take a look at this, it's some really really strong, strong, durable stuff. I mean it cuts easy like paper with a sharp enough scissors making it easy to work with when you have to cut and merge pieces. Listen to the sound of that. It's almost like the plastic on a, on a plastic milk carton. That's how durable this stuff is so this is some high quality shit and we're really enjoying it. I mean, this is going to be really nice. Our flowers and stuff are already starting to come up along the sides here. And uh, it won't be too long. Um, the check is already out in the mail. And we're going to get the tape. We're going to put it together, drop it in. And then we are going to be taking and filling it with water. And letting the water kind of settle in before we uh, sink the tarp in and, you know, permanently lay it in place because the ends of the tarp <clears throat> it's part of the reason why this wood border was here. You won't be able to see that after a while. If you can see here that plate right there there's a wood stud going all the way up to the wall of the house and that's holding it in place as far as keeping it from wobbling. Uh, the tarp is going to go right up over that and more dirt is going to go over that and then we're going to have stone over that to resume our original stone border uh, here's a lot of the stone right here that we are going to be using around it. We got a nice big old pile of it right over here. So you can see the stone. And um, this is going to be really great. So, you know, as I said, uh, for all those, those pessimists out there, kind of like my father, you know, you, you, just, you guys just need to kind of remember one thing that uh, getting all upset about stuff and, and thinking the worst doesn't solve problems, it, it creates more. <clears throat> so you just gotta calm down, be logical, rational, and think things through, and there's always a solution. And never, ever, ever make assumptions. Assumption is the mother of all f ups, and he who f***s up gets f***ed. So that is pretty much standard rule. If we would have gone by his assumption, we would have just filled all this back in and back in with dirt and said forget it. But, you know, seeing as the tape is as good as the tarp, that's our solution. That's been ordered. We're going to implement this and it's really going to kick ass.